Hey guys. <laughs> Looking down at me. Ah. All right, I had a request. I can't talk much. The doctor told me not to talk, so I'm. But everybody wants me to talk. <laughs> I got my water. I might have to stop and get a cock drop. But she wants to see me trace this on the canvas. I got a new lady today. Her so pretty. Her's got sass. I just Google downloadable, free downloadables. They're all over my website. They're all over my Facebook page. Everywhere they're there. You just print them off your computer. And from Amazon, I bought a whole roll of tracing paper. I think it's tracing. Secret. So you can just trace whatever you are. And then off of Amazon, I bought this whole pack of carbon paper. Now I know I'm a little outdated, but this works. All it needs to know. Just take a piece of it. The shiny side goes down because that's what goes on. I'm going to put you down now and show you. Alright, there you go. See? There's my blue lady. I'm going to. Maybe. Uh, I can't get it in there. I just need her. Oh crap. From here, here, here. Okay. Now. Got my lady, any any traceable works. You can go to Walmart and get them. It don't matter. Uh, I get my pencil and I just trace it. That's that simple, guys. But you want to make sure that you have I don't know. Well, I've lost my train of thought. The lady that you want and you want her in the spot that you want her on your dress. Because you don't want to be doing this over the dress. She's got sass. I like her. Alright, now I'm not going to worry about the bottom. Because, uh, 
but we're not going to be doing that. We've already done that one. Alright, let's take the bottom up. Take this off. Oh, looky there. See? She's already on there. This one takes us the longest guys that's why I usually have it done before I go on camera that way I have more time to paint this one I'm going to paint her arm in front of her dress now see the little squigglies up here that the carbon paper made you just take your eraser and you erase it just like that And it comes off. The music is still too loud. Alright. Now, I keep somewhere. I know I do somewhere. There it is. I keep a thing with change and stuff in it. Because you gotta draw boobs on. That looks about right. I like that. Give me a second, I gotta go put my doggy back in. She's old, she can't be outside, it's rainy and all yucky. Alright, so we got our boobs on there. We'll put those over there. And you have to make adjustments. You can do any kind of top that you want, it don't matter. But I think that looks pretty good. Right there. Now I want her hands to come like they're on the front of the dress, so. Now remember, all this is going to be black, so it really don't really matter. And this color is this right here that we used yesterday. So, I want it more down to the bottom. That way it blends in more. Just like that. Now, I love this color. This is my favorite. I get excited went to the hardware store today and practicing my blooms. I finally got me some untinted paint. And I'm going to try it with my ladies. I'm hoping and praying that it's going to work and it'll look like she'll have lace all over it. So stay tuned for that guys. That's going to be awesome. I'm excited. Somebody asked me how I got started. Well, first of all, it was a Dutch pour. I love the Dutch pours. They're so pretty. And it was a failed, miserable looking one. That I could only get it blown on one side. And, uh, so, I went to bed that night. And I don't, I don't know what the deal was, but I was dreaming about painting. I dream a lot about painting. That's how it came to paint. But uh, I had a dream 
that I put a ballerina dancer on it. And I got up the next morning and I tried it and I was jumping all over the house. I was so excited because it worked. It was so funny. My mother and father-in-law were laughing at me. And within within like three hours of me putting it on Facebook, it was sold. I mean that quick. It's like, wow. So, and of course it was my old boss from Walmart when I worked at Walmart. But still, somebody had somebody wanted something that I painted, and that was so exciting to me. I am my worst critic ever, guys. I don't think I'm that good. And it truly excites me when one of my paintings sell. Alright, I'm going to blow it. Just barely. I just barely blow it a little bit. You want it to look like the movement like the dress has, so that's what you're going for there. See? I'm going to turn it back around. Now here's where the dress is. I'm going to bring this color down to there because her hand's going to be right here covering it. So we're going to. What, Sagey baby? I want some attention. She's an old baby. My husband brought her home from the grocery store. He went shopping. Said they had her outside. So, he brought her home to me. Ten years ago, actually. I had the memory this morning. This is so cool. I love that everybody is interested in what I do. Just, it fills my heart so much. Everybody's wanting to know about me. Well, there ain't nothing to tell, really. I live in my house with my husband. We've been married for, gee, 15 years, I guess. His parents can't live by themselves anymore, so we added on to our house, so they have a room of their own, and I stay home and I take care of them. And then his son, my husband's son, moved in. He needed our help. And then his son, our grandson, moved in. So, uh... We have six people living in our house, and I take my grandson back and forth to school. But I cook, and I clean, and I take care of everybody. Yesterday I was a, let's see, I cooked. I don't like to clean, so I don't do it very often, guys. Don't judge me. I painted, <laughs> I paint a lot. I paint for my stress, that's my stress reliever. Yesterday I cooked, we had fried chicken the other day. And I love to cook. And I asked my mother-in-law, I said, would you like an omelet, mom? She said, sure, if you're gonna make it. So I was making omelets out of fried chicken. <coughs> I 
Uh, I put I put onion and pepper. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I put onion and pepper and mushrooms, chicken and cheese. All in this omelet. I mean, I trashed the kitchen. <laughs> but, you know, you do what you want to do. I'll take good care of them. I love them. They treat me like I'm one of theirs, so. I am blessed to have great in laws. But most of the time when I don't talk, that's why, because everybody's in the house. And it's hard to talk over everybody in the house. So. And I haven't been talking lately because of the doctor. Uh, yeah. The more I talk, the more coughing I do. <laughs> but that is getting better. But this is how you do it, guys. It's just, it's easy. I mean, the hardest part is the dress. And doing that. I do that a lot. It's hard not to drip on them. But that's why you keep part of your background color when you do it. It's a smart thing to do. I'm excited about doing this bloom technique on my ladies. I got my golden samples yesterday in the mail, and they had a brochure of other colors, which was kind of cool to sit there and just be able to look at on paper, not online or anything like that. It was on paper, and they had some stuff on there I want so bad. They'll make that these dresses and stuff just pop. I mean, it, they'll just pop. It'll look like there's glass and stuff in there. They'll have sparkles and pretties all in it. But in time, I can't just go out and buy everything I want because I don't work. So my husband's the only one that works. So, I have to kind of curb my spending. But I am pretty blessed that my husband does let me do this, so. I got one of a kind, guys. Now you might have to come back when you do this. You might have to come back when it's dry and touch up her boob area and her hair and stuff like that. But that's just hard for the course because it's all fluid paint. So it's going to blend a little bit. But that's just part of it. But you want it look you want it to look like her hand is on her hips grabbing her dress on this one. Any silhouette will do. Just find one that you like. 
I have a friend that uh, her friend likes by lens and I got one downloaded to put a violin on it with her so see anything's possible that's how I come about with my angels I was doing my string pulls with my feathers and somebody asked well why can't you do that for angel wings and make an angel so that's how that will come about I also do roosters if you have not seen my roosters get on my Facebook page it's uh, paintings by Carmen facebook.com whatever it is and you will see my roosters my sister-in-law come Thanksgiving I think it was and she was looking at all the ladies that I do and she goes why couldn't you do that for like a chicken or a rooster I said well I don't know well yeah so I spent the next two hours making a rooster and it turned out awesome guys she wanted it for a present for her boss so she got a rooster I tried to do a mermaid mermaids don't work for me anyway I tried to do the water like the grass where it pops up. Don't sneak up on me, Mom. I heard you that time. <laughs> but I get the mermaid on there and it just didn't look right. So that was a no-go. Ma, I figured you'd be napping. <laughs> well, lay on your pillow and your head won't get tired. It's a new girl, Mom. Well, I covered that hole up, didn't I? Well, let's give another one. But when you do your ladies, you do it however you want. Do whatever silhouette you want. If you're good with skin tones, don't paint her black. Paint her skin tones. I am not good with that kind of stuff. I cannot draw a face if it's if it was to save my life, I couldn't do it. You just got to use your imagination. Make sure my phone was still videoing.
Mom likes to sneak up on me and scare me. I went to carry the coffee pot and her cup of coffee in there the other morning and she was walking out to go to the bathroom. About dropped the coffee pot. I screamed and she laughed. I said, you guys are going to cause me to have a heart attack. And of course she laughed again. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, I need... I need one of these sticks. Cause... My hand's getting tired, guys. Sorry guys, my throat's are hurting. Lots of fluid. <laughs> Except at my age, it goes in one, e one end and comes out the other. I like this. I like this girl. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like her. She's got sass. Alright. Now for the hair strands. I had a lady, I, I do the dresses one day and then I do the tops the next and then I, I put them on YouTube. And she goes, I need to know how to finish it. Show me how to finish it. I'm going, I will. I'll post it this afternoon. So this is the first one I'm doing. I did three ladies yesterday. I wished I could pause it and just have one big video, but I haven't learned to do that yet, guys. I'm sorry. I think she looks good, guys. How about you? So now it looks like the, the dress is behind her. And she's got her hands on her hips right here. Now the top will dry and it'll look just like this here. So you won't have to worry about that. I gotta get that black out of there. That. Tree and blue. Plankton. That little blue piece don't need to be there. I don't have any shoes for her. 
I don't know if I have any that will fit her. But she needs some shoes or something, don't she? Ballerina shoes, maybe? Hmm. I wonder if I could. I'm not a good drawer, guys. Maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. Toes are supposed to be pointed, aren't they? I do believe. I hope my head ain't in the way, guys. I'm sorry if I'm boring. This is my life, guys. I paint and I'm a caretaker. That's it. This is what the good Lord's got me doing, so... I just accept it and go on. I think she deserves a, a signature. I just take my little